Hello, dear friends. Welcome to another daily dose of hope. Yesterday, we've seen Frank in the German video. He was at the pharmacy, and in the um, English one, he was at the Gourmessa from Migro, and he said thank you to the two employees who were there. And you may have also seen that the two ladies were really, really happy about that, and one even said that hearing thank you for her work motivates her to get up every morning and to stand there and be there for us. So we are all beings who need relationship. Without other people we dry up. We need the good, good word. We need to be seen and perceived. We need feedback on our humanity and happiness. And also from time to time we need to argue. The philosopher of religion, Martin Buber, has put it in a nutshell. Through the dough, a person becomes I. And all real life is encounter. The philosophical movements which construct the human subject primarily as independent and self-reliant overlook the fact that we are related people. From the moment we are born, we need love, warmth, food, people who take care of us, explain the world to us and help us in our development, and sometimes even give us a little nudge. A little biblical story explains this in an interesting way. There is a wedding feast and Jesus is invited along with his friends. And explicitly mentioned is also his mother Mary. Everyone celebrates with the wedding party. They eat and drink, they laugh and dance, and suddenly there is an embarrassing moment. The groom is discreetly informed all the wine has gone. So what now? The people are in a good mood and they don't want to go home yet. The bridal couple still wants to celebrate with them, be together, dance, clap, receive the people's congratulations, joy and gratitude. So the situation is serious and it is not possible to just go out to go for dinner and buy some bottles of wine or have them delivered. The story now directs the focus to Mary. She experiences the shock and the embarrassing situation and talk, tells it to her son. But the son doesn't get it. He asks, what's that about? What do we both, Mary and Jesus, have to do with this situation? That is not our business. At this point, there are interesting variations of translation that extend to a rude rejection of Mary, for instance, in the sense of, dude, what's up? But there is no need for this in the text. It is a real question, a real encounter. What can we do in this situation? How can we help? To what extent can we promote joy, this atmosphere of happiness, this fullness, to contribute something? Mary seems to know more than Jesus, who is now beginning to realize that the time has come for him to come out. I honestly have no idea what Jesus did exactly. I personally don't believe that he had huge vessels filled with water and turned him into wine, maybe like Harry Potter with a magic wand and a spell or something. But I deeply believe that through Jesus, people experienced happiness and the fullness of life. They were feeling good. They were glowing and radiant. They experienced through, true and vibrant encounters and overflowing gratitude. The celebration continued. The sky was open, with or without wine. I wish you, dear friends, 
true and beautiful encounters. Perhaps you would like to call someone, maybe our pastoral telephone or some of your friends or families or someone you haven't talked to in a long time. Wave to someone, smile at a strange, strange person on the street and say thank you, as Frank encouraged us to do. Wherever you are, you are blessed, you are a blessing.